Initial reports from the scene of the accident that killed actor Paul Walker are that he was a passenger in a Porsche whose driver was street racing. He was speeding, they probably lost control of the vehicle, and they hit a tree, car burst into flames, and they both died. Now, I'll never forget sitting in my high school Spanish class, watching as grief counselors came in and comforted the friends of a classmate of mine who died as a result of street racing. He was in a vehicle that was racing another vehicle down a really dangerous hill by my house and one of them lost control and hit the other car and a lot of the kids in both vehicles died but the real tragedy was that one of the cars veered into the other lanes oncoming traffic and hit a girl who was driving home by herself minding her own business following the rules of the road she was a bright young high school student herself and they killed her instantly on impact and uh, another memorable thing from that incident is that her parents were driving right behind her and they were following her home and they watched as their daughter died right in front of their eyes and you know I'll never forget the grief on the friends of this kids faces and their tears and that very raw emotion as they mourned for their friend and the the thought that life is so fragile and that Every little instance, every decision you make when you get behind the wheel of a car can impact not only your life, but the lives of everybody around you. And I learned that lesson at a very early age, right as I was kind of learning to drive myself. And so that always really stuck with me. It was a lesson that, yeah, it, was, it came through tragedy, but I learned from that. And so the fact that Paul Walker rose to fame, his whole fame was built upon his starring role in the Fast and the Furious franchise, which glorifies street racing and really glosses over a lot, of, a lot of the tragedy that is often associated with accidents that come as a result of street racing, that irony isn't going to be lost on anyone, but it can really be a, a teachable moment for the fans of that franchise, for fans of Paul Walker. And if people can learn from his death and, you know, be thankful for the fact that at least these guys didn't kill anybody else as a result of their selfish behavior. If, if we can just kind of appreciate that and take that as a silver lining and make sure that he didn't die in vain so much, you know, in terms of his life being, uh, his death being a lesson to us all that, you know, the motor vehicles are extremely powerful things. Cars are extremely powerful things. And, you know, it may be a, a fun moment to, to drive at high speeds but when you're doing it on public roadways like that you're taking a lot of other people's lives in your own hands and so hopefully people will learn from Paul Walker's mistake I'm not trying to make light of his death or, or, or say that you know his death is somehow not a tragedy it is a tragedy but it's a tragedy that you know given his association with street racing in film can really, really be a moment for the nation to reflect on the dangers of street racing because it is very, very real as I learned from a very young age.